Hey everybody, uh, welcome to this tutorial on how to manually generate a UID list in active timing. Um, before we even get started, you're going to need to have your IPCO registration reader connected to the computer. Uh, so if you've got your uh, laptop or PC, uh, go ahead and connect the IPCO registration reader to that. If you don't have one, speak with your, uh, your account manager and they should be able to help you purchase one. Alright, so um, when you first come to active timing, going to start on this screen. We're not going to worry about any of that for now. We're going to come over here into the settings. Okay. And we're going to select tools and manually generate. All right. So once you've got the, uh, the, the IPCO registration reader plugged in, you're just going to come over here and you're going to click on this icon and you can see where it says connecting. It's going to let me know that it's trying to connect. After a few seconds, it should connect and turn green. There we go. Okay. Now, if yours doesn't connect, um, <clears throat> go ahead and make sure that you've got it plugged in fully into the USB port uh, and make sure that the computer has recognized it. Uh, we'll troubleshoot that a little bit more in depth in another video, but for the time being, we're just going to kind of assume that you've got it good to go and we're going to show you how to scan the tags. All right, so to begin with, we're going to enter in a bib number. This is the number that's going to be worn on the participant's shirt when they're uh, running in the event or, or whatever they're doing. Um, and then we're going to select the empty space under tags, okay, that empty box. And then we're going to start scanning our first tag, okay. So I'm just going to scan the first tag. You notice there that it pops up with the ID number. So that's the, that's the tag ID that's going to be associated with bib number one. So you want to make sure that you keep track of that somehow. Um, don't just, you know, throw your chips around. Make sure that when you uh, are scanning these, that you're scanning them in some sort of order that you can associate with the bib numbers. Otherwise, those will be meaningless to you later. Also notice that down here, uh, it's automatically incrementing by one. You can change that if you want to. Um, if you've got your, um, your actual bib numbers out of order for some, for some particular reason, uh, or they, they don't flow, you know, from one to two or something like that, you can automatically change that, or not automatically, you can manually change that, and it will um, pick up from there. But it will only increment by one, no matter what you do. So I'm going to scan a few more, um, just to show you what it might look like. Okay, you can see down here, it tells me if I've lost track for whatever reason, it tells me that I've got 10, 10, uh, 10 tags generated. All right, cool. So um, <clears throat> once I've got all the tags scanned in my pile, I'm going to come down here to export. And then I'm going to find a place on my desktop or wherever I've designated. I'll enter a file name that means something to me. I'm just going to leave it as it is for the time being. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and do that. And then I'll go ahead and uh, save that. OK. So you can see that that screen has gone away. That means that we've successfully saved it. You can go to your desktop and you can find that now. Uh, in a separate video, I'm going to show you how to use this file to match up your bibs with your participants. That's it for this tutorial. Thanks for watching.